Black Myth Wukong is a smash hit, selling over 10 million units and on Steam alone, peaking at almost 2.5 million concurrent players, making it the platform's most successful single-player experience ever. Not too bad, not bad at all. Of course, plenty of that is because of the incredible player base in China finally getting a proper AAA game to play, and the rest is because those of us who hear the kinds of reject smears that were pushed onto the game, like the devs are sexist from IGN, then automatically choose to support the game, if only to demonstrate to the left that the woke, that is, the social justice obsessed cultural Marxists uh, among us, that we just do not give a tiny grain of crap what they think, or about what Sweet Baby might do. So, of course, the IGN hacks are angry that they've been ignored and ridiculed. Rebecca Valentine has fled the internet at large to hide on Reset Era and talk in an echo chamber. Fine. Uh, but what about Ki Hoon Chan, the Korean they-them who decided that their Mandarin sorry, her Mandarin, was the one definitive interpretation of the comments that they used to smear the game. Well, she's doing what they all do. Coping, seething, and lashing out. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. See what I did there? Hope you're having a lovely, lovely day. Let's take a look at everything that's going on with Black Myth Wukong, which has now been out for a few days, long enough to have smashed records all over the shop. It's pretty impressive, actually. Take a look at this, for example. 2.415 million. And that's quite interesting, actually, because apparently there was some kind of server attack that went down on Saturday... Uh, and it seems to have happened again on Sunday. So, that's interesting because uh, I don't know if this is indicative of the fact that it was the weekend. I guess we'll get some more reliable data now that it's Monday again. Because these peaks were considerably higher than these peaks. When we talked to Grums on Saturday Night Hypnosis, he was very interested to establish whether or not someone was trying to attack the game. Or if that's just, you know par for the course. We'll find out, but there is a lot of coping and seething going on associated with this game from the radical left who tried to destroy it, so we're going to check that out right now. If you're liking the video, be kind, hit like. Helps others to find it, don't you know, which means I get help and then I can help you. So thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel too for more news, reviews, commentary and rebellion. Courtesy of me and the Griff Force. Alrighty then, that park place has an IGN writer who smeared game science and Black Myth Wukong calls for boycott of game. <laughs> oh, that's gonna go well, isn't it? Previously admitted to hating white people. Wow. Very progressive. Not at all racist. I am, of course, being incredibly sarcastic because it doesn't matter what color you are. If you are the victim of prejudice based on the color of your skin... That's called racism, and I don't give a freaking crap what Alyssa McCante et al. might have to say about the potential viability of being racist to white people. White people are people, thus you can be racist to them. See how it works. Anyway, let's get into it then. One of the IGN writers who smeared game science as sexist called for gamers to boycott Blackmyth Wukong ahead of the game's release. Interestingly, this same writer has previously admitted to hating white people. Oh dear. As reported by Smash JT, shout out to you, buddy. Writer Ki Hoon Chan, who co wrote an article with Rebecca Valentine at IGN accusing game science of being sexist based on crude recruitment posters. Yeah, they were a little bit. Yeah, they were rude. They were crude. They weren't appropriate workplace material, not by Western standards anyway. I couldn't possibly speak for China, but apparently Rebecca Valentine could, using Ki Hoon Chan's translations. Uh, back in 2015, as well as social media posts that have been heavily disputed and crit uh, criticised excuse me, for being uncharitable translations called for gamers to boycott Black Myth Wukong right before the game released. Yes, of course, I showed it in a video last week that there was a YouTuber from China, a young lady called Fei Fi, apparently, who went through everything that had been said by the heads of game science and how it had been interpreted by IGN and basically did the final nail in the coffin treatment to everything we'd been talking about before. For that, pointing out that the interpretations of his quotes, like, for example, saying he wanted to get licked 
or rather he wanted to expand his horizons and get more employees but got licked until he couldn't get an erection is actually just a rather crude slang way of saying he had so much ass kissing from the people around him that it started to lose all meaning totally relatable and uh, I don't know where the hell, man, I smash JT, where are you getting the time to break all this news? You're doing God's work, my friend. Look at this Muppet, trying desperately to look like Kim Jong-un mixed with Harry Potter, I suppose. But uh, it is, in fact, a woman, uh, from what I understand. If, please feel free to correct me if that's uh, not the case, and I mean based on biology, not based on politics. But anyway, uh, Chan posted to X. I'm so fucking pissed off. This has gone too far. Don't play Black Myth Wukong. If you must, go and pirate it. So basically, break the law as a preferable to giving this company money because this IGN, I don't know, freelancer or something, doesn't like it very much. Guys, you got to do everything to support these stupid idiots. It's so important. If you do enjoy it, I don't want to know it. <laughs> Says, fuck game science and all the grifters. Come on now, dear. I think you know that we're doing this because we're concerned about what you're peddling as truth when it can all be proven to be false. How is that a grift? How is what you're doing not a grift? Uh, F Game Science and all the grifters, hello, who are doing this to one of my fave people in the industry. Oh no, was somebody mean to Rebecca Benedine? No, not particularly. No, not really. I mean, she hasn't done anything anywhere near the level of Alyssa Macante, so I certainly haven't, well, I don't remember at any point referring to Rebecca Valentine as, you know, a bitch, a ho, or any of those kind of words. Um, what I have called her is a hack, a fraud, um... Yeah, and, and all of those things, because those are true. I mean, those are factually provable. She misrepresented the quotes of someone while claiming to be an objective journalist. And then fled when collared. Uh, this post clearly calls into question whether or not Chan had ulterior motives when writing the article at IGN smashing or smearing game science and accusing the company of sexism. Chan's comments are not out of the ordinary. Back in 2022, as part of a lengthy thread discussing Slow Clap's Sifu game, Chan denigrated white players and even admitted his hatred for white people. In one post, he wrote, White gamers have zero nuance, zero understanding of the world. What about those of us who live in Asia? I mean, I literally talk to your countrymen all the time. And it'll forever be like this because the world bends over to meet their expectations. No, no, it doesn't. And if it ever did, it certainly doesn't now. The world freaking hates us because of people like you and your racist rhetoric. Because you are a racist. And if they're upset, they'll just scream at the targets till everything works miraculously in their favor. Very little works in my favor. If everything worked in my favor, I'd have a hundred thousand subs by now. Two years? Yeah, I, I would have had. But I haven't. Gotta earn it. Gotta get people to do it. And if you haven't yet, you know, you can. No one's stopping you. Uh, but uh, carrying on, in another post, Chan wrote, Do I hate white people? Yes. Well, then you are a racist. And if you're a friend, you'll understand why this is never personal. So you just hate white people. It's not personal. You just hate all white people. So... By pointing out that it's not anything particular to do with any one person, it's nothing personal, it's just a blanket thing for you, you are a racist! <clears throat> Their ability to scream reverse racism when faced with a tiny bit of criticism. No, 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 you see, you haven't criticised anything concrete or quantifiable about white people, you've just said you hate white people. That is racist! The world revolves around them even in Singapore every day. That's not true. I've been to Singapore. There's plenty of people there who aren't white. And the world doesn't revolve around white people. It doesn't any more than it revolves around anybody else. And you just think it does because you've been brainwashed and conditioned to think it does. And the reason you've been brainwashed and conditioned to think it does is so that white people who are, by and large, very successful, quite industrious, pretty intelligent, 
you know, I mean, I'm, there's plenty of other types of people who are all those things as well. I'm just saying that we seem to have done very well as a color of people. I, I, I haven't. Nothing to do with me. I'm, I'm doing all right, I guess. But, uh, you know, white people as a rule, yeah, we've conquered a few places and spread a culture around. The, the most successful culture ever in human history. You know, the one that promotes freedom and, you know, entrepreneurship, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's, it's gone quite well. So uh, the whole rest of the world, mostly other white people, should be pointed out, have decided to tear all that down, break them so that they're easier to control. That's why men can't be like men anymore and women can't be like women anymore because that creates families and families are much harder to take down than lonely, confused individuals like you. So uh, that's why you hate white people. Decolonizing queer games at play. What? Oh, in an article published by First Person Scholar titled Decolonizing Queer Games and Play. In April 22, Chan wrote, Filtering games through the language of queer design may be powerful and crucial step towards embracing diversity. But what is usually lacking in these discussions is intersectionality. Despite the growing prevalence of queer narratives in games, what is this fucking gibberish, Chan? It's nonsense. Decolonizing, filtering, queer, powerful, crucial, embracing, diversity, lacking, intersectionality, prevalence, narratives, queer, growing, bulk, stories, based, queer, characters, queer, Eurocentric, decolonized paradigm, decoupled, con coloniality, where fucking hell is this gobbledygook? <laughs> to paraphrase Norm MacDonald, that's some commie gobbledygook. Yeah. You can get in the sea. Because Black Myth Wukong has sold 10 million units across all platforms. 3 million concurrent players across all platforms. And then they go to bed. The other half of the world gets up and does the same thing. Pretty much. And you can't handle it. You are coping. Coping and seething. See? And thus... Well... You can see for yourself. They've had to protect their cat. She has had to protect her tweets. Why? I guess if you lock the door, the truth can't get in to hurt you. But uh, there you go. The truth might hurt, but I'd rather live in reality. And that's just my choice. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Will of the Fans if you'd like more news, reviews, commentary and rebellion and like to see more of me, I'd like to see more of you. I'll be back with another video for you very, very soon. But until then, remember to question everything. Respect the fans. Respect the truth. And I will chat to you next time. Break the chains This government needs much time for our worlds to remain